Hello everybody, so as you may know, the new snapshot 13W36B came out last week. And with this snapshot there are new flowers, new biomes, and a bunch of new fun stuff. Anyways, I accidentally think I may have found out something about the new flowers. I'm not sure if anybody else has found it, I'm sure they already have. But, if you take, let's grab this dirt take a piece of dirt with one of these two high flowers and use one bone meal on it you get a flower you get another one it almost dupes it I don't know if it's a bug or if it's gonna stay in the game but for the meantime I figured I might as well make something based off of that so let me show you how it works with this system it can be fully automatic you can turn it on as long as you've got the bone meal and whatever flower that you may want to do it'll keep going um, it's not entirely efficient some do get caught up here but if you have say a skeleton spawner or something that generates infinite bone meal some sort of uh, solution to this in your survival world you can just sit here and farm all the dye you want I recommend putting it next to a skeleton spawner maybe a sheep farm whatever whatever fits your needs but as you can see here as well it works for all four of the new flowers um, works for rose bushes lilacs peonies and sunflowers another recommendation too would be using it while you are near so you can pick it all up not waste any bone meal so let's get into how it works, uh, how it does what it does, and how to build it. So really simple here, there's just a little hopper clock with a comparator to a dispenser. And that's basically literally all it is. Um, these materials here are all you need to make it if you just want to stand there while it does it. But if you want to make it fully automatic, you're going to need five more hoppers. I tested it with just one hopper right here in the middle with blocks here. And it seems like a lot more of them got caught up here, which wouldn't be a problem if you're around. But if you just want to have it running, uh, say for 5-10 minutes while you're standing at a sheep farm getting wool, then you might want to do this design. I worked it, uh, I figured the lowest, uh, I did a bunch of tests out of 10, 10 out of 10 bone meals, and um, I think the lowest I got was 7 out of 10, maybe a 6 out of 10. But still, like I said, if you're in the area, you can come grab them anyway, so it's really not a huge deal. So let's go into how to build it. It's pretty easy. We'll just start with the simple version first. Uh -oh. So this is going to be where your flower is going to sit. Um, you don't need this block, but I destroyed that sand like an idiot. So I'm actually just going to put this all as dirt for now. Put that as sand. Anyways, all you need is a comparator going straight into that with it on, I believe. Hopper here. Little hopper clock. And then you put one piece of dirt in there. As long as you've got bone meal in there, it will work. Another thing I noticed too, if you put a box here, <coughs> it seems to work better. Um, as far as projecting them straight forward um, rather than kind of to the side and such but that is literally it guys um, super simple but yet effective and it's for lazy people like me so if you have any suggestions comments or whatever make sure to go ahead and leave them um, if you like the things I do go ahead and hit subscribe and until then, enjoy the snapshot, fellas. See you next time.